What's up, YouTube? It's your boy DR2727. Shout out to my Transformer Collectors, 112 Scale Collectors, whatever you collect, shout out to you. And we are bringing back the 2MP or not to MP series for a limited time only. Like they say on them little marketing McDonald's commercial with the Mac Rib or whatever. We're doing the 2MP or not to MP for a limited time. Um, shout out to Ryan, the regular Ravens fan. He requested these. And I actually had a couple of figures I wanted to talk about and I had a couple of more in the bank. So I was like, yeah, I'll upload them for you. So I have what I think it's going to be between three and six episodes. I'm really not sure how many I'm going to drop yet. But after those set of episodes come out, this is the end of the 2MP and not to MP series. I hope you I hope you like that series enough to check out my monthly content every month. I do a topic based content and I think it's much more interesting than this type of content. But I know the community loves reviews and review style content so you know i was glad to do this series but you know all good things come to an end i want to spread my wings a little more and so you know this is the end of the 2mp or not 10p series um after this round of videos but i'm still doing my monthly transformers videos i pray that you check them out and i hope you like them because i really like doing those so for everybody who's new what we did was in all of 2021 we every week we looked at a figure or older figure and said if it was an mp by today's standards and you know some of them were some of them work but what we are going to do now we say what we don't like about the figure what we do like about the figure and then judging to say if it's an mp by today's standards or not and so what we have here is fans towards quake wave or their version of shock wave and before we get started me and this figure have had a love hate relationship and i bought it sold it bought it sold it so you know i'm hoping i could be objective and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be pretty much sure i'm gonna be objective but we just let you know we do have a complicated history like that girlfriend you break up to make up with or whatever so that's the position i have on this so as always we'll start with what i don't like about the figure what i don't like about the figure pretty much all most of it right hinges on the, the neck and the face so first off the head First off, the lack of head articulation. So it's no real down, like that's as far down as it goes. It's up, but it's not the good type of up. It's just like the neck tilts back. So like that's a problem. And then also the eye. The eye isn't painted and it's so far recessed in the head that it tends to get dim or lost sometimes. So like if you're not, if you don't have a lot of light, the eye actually looks missing sometimes. And that's a problem. And just for contrast, let me show you this. This guy here, right, Takara version of it, Hasbro Takara. Like, if you look and see, and I'll bring it up close, you see how, like, the light, the light, the eye is actually protrudes from outside the helmet, so it's easily detectable, and it has light piping. So, like, is you can easily see the light wears. And this guy here, let me try to do the same. If you look, like, because the head is more angular and is more... Actually, a better look, but it's more angular, and it sits further in. You can see how it gets lost sometime in the thing. And also, it wasn't painted because they did the light. They did the lit lights gimmick, and I'm not. I don't mind the light gimmick, but I think that fans to us has proved you can do painted a painted eye and lights and make it work at the same time. But I wouldn't expect that from a figure this what this figure is ten years old probably. I think it came out 2012, 2013. So I wouldn't expect that from fans to us. So that's one of the things I don't like. Second thing I don't like is in the is the barrel. Like they gave you a replacement part. Forgive me, mine is. Um, I bought this second hand. Like I said, not this part broke off, so I need to get a replacement if they even have one. But anyway, long story short, I don't like that the barrel sits in front, and I don't like this type of barrel. Like it's rubber, it can you know deteriorate over time. I do think that Takara did it better with kind of this flexy slinky type material i wish fans toys would have did that but some of these things are things i wouldn't have thought about at the time like objectively the one thing i could think they would have done is just had it to where the holes was in the back and not in the front and they gave a replacement part to fix that i just don't have it because i bought the second hand and the third thing which is probably a nitpick again and a lot of it is from this figure here is that this figure is an all-in-one meaning like this backpack part minus the purple part is all in one like you don't have to parts form anything whereas the barrel on this one is 100% parts forming. So those are pretty much the things I don't like about this figure. Well, two things I don't like and one thing I wish was better. What do I like about the figure? I like everything else about the figure, the size. So let me put this back up here so you'll see. Like this shockwave, 
is imposing. This shockwave looks like his little brother. This is imposing. This is villainous. This is what I think of when I think of shockwave. This is, you know, nothing wrong with me. I just don't think they occupy the same space in my mind. And I'll say it like this. If you looked at Transformer Prime or IDW or Shockwave was a villain in his own right, I would go for this look. If you think of Shockwave more as like a Prime from the G1 cartoon where he was just a loyal flunky of Megatron, this look suits that purpose. But for me, I want Shockwave to be big, intimidating. Um, you know that Transformers, that classic book, that classic comic cover where it was like all are dead? This Shockwave fits that motif. This one doesn't. So like, you know, I think that that's one of the things they captured, like making him truly villainous at the time. And this was before like a Megatron was out. So like he, I think he was the biggest Decepticon at the time. But of course with fans toys, they have the paint that you wouldn't expect. They did the detail, look at the translucent, how it is. Die cast, die cast here, die cast here. The articulation, double jointed elbows, double jointed, well single jointed knees, but ratcheted. You hear those ratchets? You know, I think the parts from a part of this is fine. It worked for me at the time to have individual articulated fingers. So like, you know, the waist swivel. So it captures everything look wise, build quality wise, aesthetically wise. Like it's just a really well done figure. And like, is it an MP by today's standards? Definitely a hundred percent. Like this is so good. I'm gonna sell this one when I get a chance. Like I think that this suits everything I've worn for Shockwave. This one isn't as bad as people make it out to be, but it's definitely not as good as this one. And this one came out way, what, three, four, five years before this one. So definitely, definitely Quake Wave is an MP. Um, I don't know what else to say about itself or it's one of the fans toys. If you consider the time, it's a classic. So like, I'm trying to think, it's like Run DMC. It's like Run DMC or Eric B and Rakim. Like, with Eric B paid in full, rap can be going on 50 years from now. Eric B and Rakim paid in full. Somebody either sample their beat, sample the verse, whatever, whatever, whatever. Or Eric B for president, right? Like, it'll either be somebody sampling the beat, sampling one of Rakim verses or whatever. It'll be just a classic from now on. This is a classic. This is definitely a time capsule piece about what MP was, what MP is, and what MP should be. So, thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. All right, thanks again. Oh yeah, since I have both of these, let me know if you guys want to see a Transformers toe-to-toe -to -toe with these. I try to get somebody to do a Transformers toe-to-toe -to -toe with. And if you're new to the channel, Transformers toe-to-toe -to -toe is where I get somebody who isn't a collector to look at the same character and give their honest, unbi honest, unbiased thoughts about which product they feel is better. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments.